Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled Americans Discover the Metric System. So I did know, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I did uh, know a lot about the metric system, but I lost touch of it. Um, in terms of the conversions, I'm not the best at it, but I, I, I could have done stuff like if you give me a ruler and um, the conversion is where I might you know, fall off. Like I'm not necessarily going to be spot on with a conversion, but I'm pretty, I was pretty good at metric in terms of, um, you know, knowing what it would feel like in the temperature range, uh, the measurement, I was pretty good at it. What I'm not good at is the kg. I, I'm not good at the kg, but the, the measurement in terms of uh, length, width and all that height, I was good at that one because I did, um, I did study and um, learn how to draw house plans and I had to know how to, to do um, all kinds of measurements, right? So I actually was pretty good at uh, the measurement, uh, measurement uh, uh, metric, right? So this should be a really interesting video. I don't really know what they're gonna talk about, but it's a really short video. So we're gonna get right into that video, but I just wanna say I'll be moving to Europe. So please click the link in the comment section, go check out the other channel. You won't regret it. Uh, but yeah, let's write that up and let's get right into the video, guys. I feel like all these videos recently are, are designed to reveal me as an idiot. Ah, me too. Okay. Yeah, this is really wow, that's crazy. What are the other two countries that uses the um that doesn't use a metric system? <laughs> Tens, baby. Tens. Give me them tens. Give me them hundos. Give me them thousands. <laughs> Liters instead of gallons and Ounces. instead of miles, there's kilos. It's confusing to me how kilometers are shorter than miles, but meters are bigger than feet. It seems like the metric system makes a lot more sense than our system. Yeah, ours is dumb. That's one. I didn't know if I want that milliliter. What does milliliter equal? One I milliliter. don't know how much a milliliter is. I think a milliliter is small. Therefore, yeah, a milliliter is small. Of course, it but is. But this small. is a thousand milliliters. <laughs> I don't know how she just messed up like that, but she said a milliliter is small, which it is, but it's one thousand of it though. <laughs> I'm sorry for being a jerk, but mad, mad respect for you trying, but. You said it's small. It is small, but a thousand of it is not necessarily small. This one. A thousand milliliters right there. Big one. I picked this one because I know what a two liter bottle looks like. Yeah. 45 centimeters tall, approximately 1.5 feet. Like Dang! 45 centimeters is approximately 1.5 feet? Oh, probably that's why when they're doing height, you see like a person uh, like like there's like so much in terms of like a dang that's wild i'm here just trying to calculate height in my head i'm sorry four centimeters in an inch sort of so if you can approximate an inch which you can't uh you can figure mm. this out which you can't yours is much better than mine <laughs> Mine could also be a spaceship. It's like a Great Dane and a Chihuahua. Oh my gosh, that's huge! Okay. I'm not super embarrassed about this. I thought hers was gonna be way too long. I feel defeated. Pretty good, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Temperature, that one now. Negative five degrees. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero. Negative five degrees Celsius. Negative five, probably about 20. 26. I can probably tell you that's 26. That's probably 26 because I think negative two is around. I don't even remember, but I remember one time when I was in like about negative two degrees, I actually calculated and I was like, oh, so this is what it would have been. No, sorry. I was in like about negative. I don't remember, but I was in Fahrenheit and I was calculating it to degrees Celsius. I think it was negative two but um it was foreign heights and it was probably like 20 something or what was it i don't remember guys i it's it's been a minute girl for celsius it's gonna be in the 20s is my approximation so pretty cold put it all on yeah pretty so cold so it's really hot put on this scarf and draw these up okay hi. put the gloves oh, on because we don't want your fingers getting cold yeah put that on and zip it if it was negative five degrees celsius this is what he should be wearing 
I should probably be 23. Things 23. Okay. Okay. You've dressed me the right way for 23 degrees. I get cold in like 80 degree weather, so oh, wow. this is gonna be real cold. 23 degrees Fahrenheit? That's like t-shirt weather back in Minnesota. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. You're in LA, son. <laughs> I really wish we were just taught and we just lived in the metric system. I don't really, I don't really think America needs to adopt to it because I think metric is really in America. Like you go about your business, it's really there. It's just not everything is really in metric, but I, I've seen a lot of things in metric. So uh, even sometimes I'm looking at basketball players height and they give me in metric sometimes. So I don't know, I don't, I don't necessarily think it needs to be adopted. I think it just needs to be slowly embedded in it, you know? So you put like a code, a code thing, you know? So. You have the normal, you have the new version that you want, right? So people are more comfortable, I think, because I personally sometimes prefer feet, uh, feet, inches and all of that type of stuff, you know, rather than the meters. That's that's how I feel sometimes, right? But, um, you know, I think having both of them is much better. Americans don't like change, so I don't think this is worth it. That you learn how to do something a certain way forever, and then you're told to change it, it just doesn't work. No, I think we should work. adopt the metric system. Come on, get on it. Never. Never. Yeah, we probably should. It'd, it'd make a lot more sense. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. I can't really co-sign whether or not it should be there. This video says why the metric system matters. I should check that video out, but um, it's really an interesting topic, you know, the metric system. I, I can't say it's bad to have it, but um, I definitely don't think it needs to be forced upon people. I don't like force. I'm, I'm always against things being forced on people. So I guess that's where my point is at. But y'all can let me know, you know, y'all can let me know what y'all think about it. But for sure, I do know that um, the measure measurement system is great on both folds in my humble opinion because i don't see where um, either of them really you know dominates the other one i don't see it like y'all can tell me where it dominates but i don't see where it dominates maybe one is easier to calculate work with but i don't see any domination you get what i'm trying to say where oh my gosh yeah totally this one has to go i don't see the domination if there was a domination i think it would have been changed worldwide everybody would be using it it's easier but i don't i don't see domination so y'all can let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section down below because i don't really think it's necessary to change it but i think it should be implemented beside the ones that americans are used to make sense yeah but either way guys i'm out of here so leave a like in the video and subscribe and like i said i'm moving to europe so go check out that channel i really appreciate it but i'm out of here guys peace